I have two ways to lock objects onto Google Slides. They're not pretty, but they do work. Hi, I'm Ryan Collins, and today I'm going to show you how to lock objects onto Google Slides. This helps you make drag and drop activities or other kinds of activities that students might want to do in the classroom where you don't want them modifying some objects on the slides. I'm going to start up Google Chrome here. And I have an example of what the presentation could look like. Here's one where you might have students figuring out the change for a, an amount. And in this, they would drag the correct number of coins over to the piggy bank. That all works. The problem is they can drag the piggy bank and get rid of it. They can change the amount. They can change the wording. They can change all of this. So we don't want to be able to do that. There are two ways to lock objects on the Google Slides. You would think you could just right click and say lock object and in Google's infinite wisdom, they have not added that capability. So we have two little hacks that work. The first one is the one that I hear of the most. To set up our drag and drop activity, we need to set up the slide exactly how we want it to look for the students where everything that we don't want the students to move is a component of the background. And how we do that, I'm going to remove the money because we want, we'll put the money on later because we want them to drag and drop. These are the items we do not want them to be able to change. The amount, the pig, and the title here. We download as a JPEG or a PNG. Either one works. There, we got it downloaded. Now I'm going to create a new blank slide and where it says background, we're going to change background, choose image, and upload the picture we just downloaded. And then say done. Do not click the add to theme or it'll make that background for every single slide you do, which is not what you want. Now we've changed the background to that image and look, I can't do anything. So I can put my money back on that slide and they can drag and drop to their hearts content and they can't change any of the information that's on there. So let's go through that one more time so I can show you what that does. We set up the slide exactly how we want it for what we don't want them to change. These four things, three things. Download that as an image. JPEG or PNG doesn't matter. Then we create a new slide with a blank background and we set that picture we just downloaded as the background. And if I wanted another act, another amount in here, I could put that in there. Download that image. Create a new blank slide. Put that up down here at the end. Set the background as my image I just downloaded. Dragging and dropping to electric boogaloo. So we have two slides in here and I can't change anything on these two slides. Finally, I have another slide that all these are are just stacks of money. I have four coins for each. I'm going to highlight all those, copy it, go to the slides, paste, paste. And if this was going to be, if I was done, I would then delete both of these slides. And this is what I would use in my Google Classroom assignment. And the students would be able to open it up. They'd each have their own copy and they would be able to just drag and drop the amount of money they need for each one. 
and they can't change anything. And you can mix this up if you don't like every slide looking the same, flip the pig around so sometimes it's looking one way or the other way. You can change the pig on different slides to different pigs. You can really mix it up. So that's one way of doing it. Basically set up your slide, download it as an image, and then set that as your background. That way works, but it's kind of a pain because I can't change those once I'm done. I have to go back in and make up a new slide, redownload, change the background. So I'm gonna show you another way of doing this. And that is under the view and then master. This is all of the slides in our current presentation. We have a master slide which sets up the different fonts and colors. And then underneath that, we have different layouts. And if you notice, these layouts look exactly like our layouts when we go here. Well, we're going to create new layouts and actually we're gonna create a new layout slide for each one of the slides we want the students to do. I'm going to copy this so it'll make it easier for me to paste it into my slide. So we're gonna view master. We're gonna hit the plus to make a new layout. And now we have a new layout. Anything I do to this, it works basically if I was doing a slideshow but I can use this layout for multiple slides. So I'm going to change the background and we're gonna change that to the color I was using for the other ones. I'm going to paste my graphics in there. And you notice it didn't save my font. So I'll need to change that font to something a little more exciting and something better than that. This would be one of my slides I'd want them to do. If I get out of master. Now if I go over here to add a new slide, my one I just did is in there. And look, I can't change, highlight this at all. It's basically the same as downloading a background picture, but if I wanted to, if I didn't like that font, for example, Anything I can change on that slide, I would just go to the slide and say, okay, let's pick a different font for there. And it'll automatically change it on the slide that uses that layout. You have to make a new layout slide for each one of your problems though. But Google Slides has you covered because you can right click on this and say duplicate layout. So now I can do another problem. Oh, I'd like to see them figure that one out. Duplicate that one. Duplicate it again. Duplicate it one more time. As you can tell, that was a lot faster. I made up one, two, three, four, five slides in that amount of time. No downloading, no uploading. Over on my, over in my presentation then, I can just add those slides. Now it's kind of hard to read the amount. So you may want to change the name of the slide up here. So we'll name this one. 40.42, we'll name this one dot 13, and there's a reason why you're gonna to wanna to change them because dot 27, and you can name them other things if you want, but it's just easy just pulling the, the amount for this activity.
Now I can go through here and add the 89, 54, 27, 13, 42. Now I have each one of those done. Students can't change anything on there. The only other thing I need to do is copy my money. Copy. It was only this easy to make more money. And all I'm doing is swap, switching each slide and copying and pasting. I would delete these first two slides out of here, share it through Google Classroom. Oh, I missed one. Share it through Google Classroom, and then the students can do the activity without having to. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to download anything. You can just do things really, really quickly. So that's it for this video. Try that out. I went kind of fast in some parts. You can always rewind and go through it again. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or send me an email. Be sure to visit my website at educate.me and also be sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't worry about the notification bells. You get enough notifications. You don't need another one from me. Stay classy.